Hello! In this video, I'm going to show you how to keep your Roots Finder DNA information up to date as new matches are added to GEDmatch. You can do this from any view, and it keeps all your color coding and notes. Your new information is just merged in, so you don't lose anything with the update. I happen to be on the list view here, but the same process applies to the segment view and the triangulation view. One thing I want to point out is the trash can icon here. This trash can would delete my entire kit, which is pretty drastic. I don't want to do that, I'd lose everything. I just want to bring in my new information. So to do that, I go over here to the right and click the plus button up here to get my instructions. This checkbox controls what happens to the old information. Do you want it deleted or do you just want to keep it here in your list? If you want to keep it, do nothing. Just leave the box unchecked and all the old information will stay here in your list. If you want to delete the old data when you import the new matches, check the box. But I don't want to delete them, so I'm going to uncheck this. Now the instructions tell me to go to GEDmatch and get my one-to-many list. So I go over to GEDmatch to my one-to-many list, which I've already loaded here. Kits that have been added recently are highlighted in green. So to bring that over to Roots Finder, I select everything on the screen by hitting Control A or Command A. Everything is highlighted, so I copy it by hitting Control C or Command C. And now I come back over here to Roots Finder, and I can click anywhere in this big gray instruction box here. It's the landing zone for the information, so I just click anywhere in here, and I paste the GEDmatch data by hitting Control V. So now it's going to process everything and bring in the new kits that had been added to GEDmatch. And now I see that I didn't lose anything. My color coding stays the same, my notes are still here, everything is the same except now I have this new kit information I can work with. It's the same process for my segment view. I go to the Roots Finder segment view, click the plus button over here, come over to my GEDmatch segments, Control A, Control C, come back here to Roots Finder, click anywhere here in this instruction box, and hit Control V. Okay, so now I am going to do the same thing for my triangulation view. I click the plus button up here, I go over to my GEDmatch segment triangulation, I Control A to select everything. Control C to copy it. Then I come back to Roots Finder, click anywhere here in this instruction box, press Control V to paste it in, and it's going to update my list for me. So now I've updated all my new information and I can start working with it. So now you know how to update your DNA kits. As always, please let us know if you have any questions. Thanks.